Amazon DynamoDB is a key value store and document database that delivers single digit millisecond performance at any scale. DynamoDB is fully managed, multi-region, multi-active, and durable database with built-in security, backup and restore, and also it comes up with in-memory caching for internet scale application. I don't have to sell DynamoDB to you because DynamoDB speaks for itself. And Amazon or AWS is not stopping there. They are improving and evolving DynamoDB every month. This time they have released this new feature of incremental exports from DynamoDB to S3. This feature you can use today to update your downstream systems regularly using only the changed data. You no longer need to do a full export each time. You need fresh data. The incremental export feature exports only the data items that have been inserted, updated, or deleted between two specific point in time. You can also now build change data capture or CDC pipelines more efficiently and more importantly, more cost effectively. Okay, now in order to implement this new feature in your existing DynamoDB table, there are a couple of prerequisites which you need to meet. First and foremost, you need to ensure that your table has point in time recovery or PITR enabled because this is needed for any full or incremental export. You can uh, easily do that from console or also from AWS CLI. Once that's done, go to your DynamoDB table, go to your exports and backups, and from there, select this option of incremental exports new, and then you can select any relative date, or you can go with the absolute mode, depend it just depends on your requirement and nothing else. Once that's done, you can simply go in and then uh, start your incremental export to your S3 bucket. Now, you can also uh, start doing that from your CLI. Let me show you the command for that too. So from AWS CLI, you can use this command to do the incremental export by providing a new export type and incremental export specification, as you can see in this code. So all you need to do in this command is to substitute your values with your account, your region, your table name, and then your S3 bucket prefix, and then simply provide your from time and to time, and also what sort of view you want to, um, you know, export view type you want to have, new and old images, and you can go with um, any other output too if you want. Now. Remember that this value export view type may change with different images. And for example, if you are doing insert, it will be something like keys plus new image. If you are doing update, then it will be key plus old image plus new image of your data. If you are deleting it, it will be keys plus old image. And if you are inserting and deleting, it will be no output. Anyway. I believe that this feature is really cool because it enables you to update your downstream system regularly using only the incremental change data. And the good thing is that this feature is now available in all the AWS regions immediately. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you feel excited about your use case, especially with this feature in DynamoDB. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.